Hello, I'm Jason Innes, the Manager of Training and Curriculum Development at KinderLab Robotics. Today I'd like to share with you about the benefits of teaching computer science in early childhood using age-appropriate robotics. With robotics, we can support literacy, play, and hands-on making. At KinderLab, we make the Kibo robot. The benefits that I'll talk about today apply to all early childhood work with robotics, not just Kibo. But Kibo is a research-based, hands-on, screen-free robotics platform designed for teaching early computer science and engineering in early childhood. When kids program Kibo, they use tangible, physical wooden blocks to represent each step in the program they create. Kibo scans the blocks and then acts out the program. The whole experience is based on manipulatives. There's no apps or computers needed. Now, I mentioned that Kibo is research-based. Our co-founder, Dr. Marina Bears, runs the DevTech Research Group at Tufts University. She and her team designed Kibo based on their research into how coding and robotics can support our early childhood development goals. So what did they find and what are the benefits? First, how do we think about coding? Coding is a literacy. Like writing, the purpose of coding is really to communicate, to allow children to express themselves, to tell stories with code. Now, there are direct parallels between coding and literacy. We can think of a story as a sequence of events flowing from beginning to end. Now, of course, understanding sequence in this context is a foundational literacy skill that young children are developing. Well, a program is like that too. In programming computers and robots, children are creating algorithms, which are really just sequences, sequences of actions that flow from beginning to end. A program is a story, and the program tells a story that the children create, like a story about the fire truck. So if programming helps develop sequencing ability and support literacy development, that's important. Um, but another benefit is we know that children, um, young children learn best through play. So how can robotics support using play in our teaching? Well, play can mean different things. In her books, Dr. Bears shares the metaphor of playpen technologies and playground technologies. Playpen technologies are limiting. Playground technologies are open-ended, child-directed, and they can be social. Age-appropriate robotics and coding can deliver playground technology experiences. Children can move, interact, and play. Here, for example, children are teaching their robots to dance along with them. It's an open-ended, involving, and social experience based on creative coding. So this hands-on element of children's play is also central to the creative design work that children do with robotics. Robotics really allows us to bring this tangible making element into our teaching of computer science as well. When we create with robotics, children are involved in really a holistic engineering design process. They imagine solutions, they translate those imagined ideas into physical objects, they test and improve their programs, and then importantly, they share their work with their peers, doing that communicating we talked about. So the robot really becomes a platform that draws children in via their imaginations, their artistic impulses, their curiosity. So robotics provides many different entry points into these technology experiences that draw on the diverse interests of the students. So robotics gives us these three interconnected benefits, self-expression and literacy, playful learning, and hands-on imaginative making. To use the wonderful phrase from Seymour Papert, a pioneer in this field, robotics and robots really are objects to think with. So creative work with age-appropriate robots, like Kibo, has a natural place in early childhood education. I invite you to please uh, connect with us, stay in touch, and if you're interested in these topics, please download our white paper for an expanded view of these points. Thank you very much.